Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Mimi back with um, my Andrew Tarot. This is going to be an update for um, Divine Feminine. Also, I need y'all to understand that when I do these readings, these are not personal readings. These readings are not specifically for anybody. I'm just reading the cards. I'm reading the energy. I'm listening to my intuition, and I'm telling you what God wants me to tell you. Now, um... <clears throat> so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get into this reading for our divine feminine let's see what's up with the film and also a divine feminine does not have to be a woman it can be a man that is embodying the divine feminine's energy we all have masculine and energy masculine and feminine energy inside of us <clears throat> so this reading can literally resonate with anybody on the planet. If it don't resonate, don't get mad at me. Don't cuss me out. Just book a personal reading. I have specials going on for personal readings. Um, I can do a 30 minute live reading or I can actually do a 30 minute video recording reading and I can email it to you so that you can always go back to it. I always think that that's better than doing like live readings. <clears throat> just so you can always be able to go back to it so thank you holy spirit holy angels what's going on with my divine feminine collective king of wands okay the devil Two of Cups. Ten of Cups. Okay, so right now what I'm seeing, I see that someone is in their King of Wands energy. This is also Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And we have the Devil card, which is... um. Capricorn. So we have a King of Wands coming up in an upright. And he is letting go of a toxic situation. This could be a toxic relationship, a toxic work environment. Uh, it can be an addiction. But this King of Wands is letting go of some type of addiction to give you, my collective, or you're this person wanting to give someone your love to eventually end up in the Ten of Cups energy. Ace of Swords. Yeah. So, let me get some more cards for the second row before I start talking. Because the Ace of Swords in reverse is somebody's lying about something. Then we got the Ten of Swords in reverse so somebody's lying about being okay someone's lying about how they really feel someone doesn't know how to tell the truth about the way that they feel like i said this can be you or it can be your person take it how it resonates but someone's not telling the truth about how they feel We got the Nine of Pentacles that just came out. A lot of these cards remind me of the Divine Masculine reading. We got the Two of Pentacles. So, someone is not telling the truth about how they feel. Someone's not telling the truth about what they're actually really doing. Someone's lying about what they're really doing. Someone's being secretive about what they're doing. Someone's juggling two ideas, maybe two jobs. Maybe someone lives a life in the daytime and like at night, you're like a totally different person. But you're not telling the truth about something. Or your person is not telling the truth about something. 
I'm really picking up the energy from your person because this King of Wands is releasing to give the Two of Cups. And we have the High Priest. You showed up as the High Priest. This is literally... Y'all should go watch the Divine Masculine reading because y'all can probably get some answers from that too. I'm trying to upload it right now, but my phone keep turning off. Like the motherfucker's supposed to stay on. Like literally. We have a high priestess here. A very intuitive woman. Now, I feel like this high priestess is you, Divine Feminine. Two of Wands. Let me get out my book. I be having to make sure that I'm saying the right meanings because I'm still learning, you feel me? And I want to get the right information. Two of Wands, you're a commanding presence looking down on the world below you. The phone in your hand holds questions while you wonder what to do and where to go next. You've had success lately, but are a bit uncertain about your next steps. It's not time to rest yet though. Don't get distracted and stay fixed on your goal. So, <clears throat> This divine feminine doesn't know what to do next. Or your person don't know what to do next. Page of Cups. Maybe this divine feminine is thinking about uh, taking her love away, not giving or offering any emotion to her person until he did those toxic energies that he is trying to release. Your person is going to release whatever is toxic that's going on because the devil came out in reverse and that is letting go. And this death card also came out. So that situation is definitely gonna come to an end whatever that your person is letting go of to come to you. He's letting go of something to come to you, but he's still not telling the truth about what he be doing. So he probably saying, or she's probably saying that they be doing something, but it's literally the opposite. And we have the sun card. When that situation gets dead and when all of that evil negative energy gets released, the sun is going to come out, which means that, you know, that's the happiest card in the fucking deck. Ace of Cups. Release this. Release what is holding you back because you are going to offer your cup to somebody, to this high priestess. And y'all going to end up with the Ten of Cups, the sun, and the Ace of Cups. So this is emotional fulfillment this is a lot of love like this is a lot of love we got the, the fucking queen of pentacles this is just like the fucking divine masculine reading this king of wands need to release this queen of pentacles because this bitch keep popping up she keep popping up so maybe he's lying about um working with this queen of pentacles it's so i knew she was gonna come out this is just like the fucking masculine read all of these cards like literally they are like coming out almost the fucking same and i shuffle my cards page of swords your person not in their head no more about this queen of pentacles he not in his head no more about that queen of pentacles she ain't really got him up in his head no more strength this is leo you gotta be strong stay out your head and access the strength you feel me when you thinking too much you're not allowing downloads to come in you have to quiet your mind too much thinking is not normal it was a time in life where uh, people literally walked around with nothing on their mind. They just were being, like literally. I wish it was still like that. 
people did not think they just did you feel me like people think too much get out your head that's gonna bring your strength you got the strength to get out your head about this queen of pentacles like i said this is vice versa this can be you or this can be your person five of cups you gotta let some shit go you walking away from a home you walking away from a family all of those emotions are not there anymore that shit is poured out you don't even want it no more the only thing you want is these two cups in the background that's standing all that other shit is dead Walking away from a family dynamic. Maybe this King of Wands is walking away from a family dy dynamic to come be with you, High Priestess. Knight of Wands. And he's coming in. He gonna do it through sex. You know, he gonna come in like a little knight in and out, in and out. Y'all gonna do a lot of fucking. Y'all gonna do a lot of fucking. before anything happens because everything that I'm talking about right now that's going on in the background ain't nothing happening right now but he coming and he about to bring you that dick four wands this is marriage this is your twin flame this is a high level soulmate 11 11 the number 11 may signify with you four wands the number four may signify with you so I have 11 and I have four The hermit. Yeah, so someone's definitely thinking. Someone is definitely plotting, planning, and be so someone is plotting and planning the strategy before they come towards you. We have the magician at the at the bottom of the deck. This king of wands definitely wants to manifest with this high priest. He wants to manifest a new beginning, new emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups energy, the Sun energy, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, equal give and take. He's releasing something now. He's probably releasing from a situation where it was just no truth. There was no justice. Everybody was lying. Everybody was backstabbing each other. So we got the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So this King of Pentacles is a match with the Queen of Pentacles, but it also came out with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This King of Pentacles thought that him and this Queen of Pentacles was a match, but he's taken away his emotions. He don't want to give no love no more because he, he wants more than just Pentacles. We got all these cups over here. Honestly, this feels like a fucking uh, masculine reading. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to just say this reading is divine masculine and divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. Because somebody is releasing some toxic ass shit to come get their son, their ten of cups, and their ace of cups. Yeah. He don't want what's in front of him no more. But something finna come to his ass, her ass, out the blue. That's too many cards. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got a lot of kings out here. So we have the high priest. We already know who the high priest is. That's divine feminine. She's literally sitting here watching all of this happen. We have a king of wands. He is the one or she. They're the one that is dropping this toxic situation. We have a, a queen of pentacles over here. 
which is really a gold digger card. We have a king of pentacles. We have a king of swords and the king of wands. So this queen of pentacles is probably a little hoe because the high priestess, she ain't gonna be dealing with all these kings. This is three kings and only one queen came out. Yeah, this queen of uh, pentacles have multiple suitors. She got a king of swords, a king of pentacles, and a king of wands. So she dealing with a whole bunch of different people that's embodying this energy. Somebody may have a butterfly tattoo. The King of Pentacles came out with, I mean, you know, but why would all these other kings come out? That Queen of Pentacles is a rolling stone and she's toxic. She may have long black hair. She may be African-American. She may have a white pet. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is wilding. This may be a little stalker bitch that's trying to be you, thinking that if she focus on her pentacles and focus on her money, then she can come and take your place. When in reality, that ain't happening. Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, it's not happening. She got all these different men. Eight of Wands. Yeah, someone's moving forward. Someone is making forward movements in this situation. I'm still like shocked. Like we got three kings out here and one queen, five of swords. All this fighting and shit. Yeah, some somebody's moving away from all this fighting. It's too much fighting going on because it's too many people in the mix. We got three kings and one queen of pentacles and one high priest. That's five people. And honestly, I feel like this King of Wands don't want to fight no more. Go and be with your King of Pentacles. Go over there and, and be with your match. Because this King of Wands don't match you. Somebody belongs together, but they seeing all these different people. Give me one more card just to clarify this reading. Yeah. Somebody's moving away. Somebody's moving away from a toxic ass situation. Somebody is cheating, sleeping with multiple men. Somebody wanna come over here to this high priestess that's sitting on her chair, minding her business on her computer. All this fighting and shit, mm -mm. You wanna move on to calmer waters. Either you or your person. Somebody is letting all this toxic shit go. Thank you, Divine Feminine. Have a, uh, a good night. I'm about to come through with like another reading though. So I'll be back.